I'd like to talk a little bit about timing and what's happening next. I was pretty fortunate uh, in sort of in retrospect in terms of the timing that allowed me to build out this van. Uh, I was very, very sick. I was living in a different city going to school and it got to the point where I wasn't able to attend school anymore. And in order to get a doctor and to start healing, I decided that I would move uh, back to my hometown, stay with my father, and work on this when I was a physically able and had the time. And that's sort of what ended up happening. Uh, when I moved back, I started improving my health, and my father had a workshop, um, and I had a lot of time. So I was really able to get a good start on this build where, because I wasn't really working, despite the fact that I wasn't able to work for very long at a time, or I was working really slowly because I was in pain, I was still able to get a lot of work done. So that was like the first three or so months. And then I started working and the job that I started was actually working at night. By this point, I was feeling a lot better. Uh, not great, I'm still not um, great. I'm just in less pain <laughs> or no pain actually anymore. But at the time I was in less pain and I started working uh, night shifts. And that's something that's really interesting. Um, while I was working on the van and still living uh, at home, that worked out really well. But as soon as I sort of moved into the van, some problems started showing up and they weren't that big. Uh, the main one being it's, it's a little hard to sleep during the day, harder to sleep during the day in a van than it is at night because obviously there's more traffic. Uh, it's lighter, this van never gets 100% dark. Um, it's just and when it started getting really hot in the summer obviously then that's a real problem when I'm trying to sleep in 35 degree weather even when I have the fan on uh, it's still really difficult especially during the day so that was sort of a, a problem that presented itself fortunately that's not a problem anymore I've actually uh, stopped working at that job in order to go on uh, on vacation. What happened was I took a year off from school in order to get my, uh, I took a sabbatical. However, the order of my classes changed, which mean, meant that instead of going back in January, I now have to go back in September. So I, I've decided to go uh, take the month of August off. Um, myself and my father were going to go to, uh, across the country, go to, I've got family in Saskatchewan and Ontario. And so that will actually mean that I'm leaving the van behind. Uh, this thing gets absolutely horrible gas mileage. So actually driving, uh, you know, several provinces over would just be not economically viable. Plus we'll be staying with uh, family while we're traveling across the country. So we're going to take his car. So <laughs> it's kind of a, a, an odd feeling. Now that I finally got this uh, build, you know, like 90% finished, it feels done beside that one part of the counter that needs work and then I'm leaving it behind to go live in a series of houses so that's sort of uh, interesting but while it's here hopefully I will be able to actually uh, get some work done or have or rather have some work done on the mechanics of the vehicle because there is some stuff that needs to be done there so the timing of this is all actually really fortunate because I got things done right before I kind of had to go and then as soon as I come back from vacation at the end of August, uh, school starts on September 5th. So then I need to be able to move. So once I move, I won't have access to my father's workshop or anything. So everything had to get done before I left, which it, everything that can be done has been done. So that's really good. Um, so then after I move, uh, my father is actually moving, ac moving across the country. Um, so then I won't have access to that I won't have access to my home uh, base, which I've sort of had uh, here. So that'll be really interesting because after I, you know, I come back from vacation, uh, while I've been living in this van for like two months now, after that there won't be uh, a safety net and there won't be really access to the same amount of uh, tools and resources that I had when making it. So all in all, the timing of this project has been really perfect. If I hadn't gotten, uh, sick when I did and I would by all means rather not have gotten sick than have this van. I would trade that in a heartbeat but if I hadn't things hadn't gotten worse exactly when they did uh, I wouldn't have been in the position to uh, to be able to to buy the van to be able to work on it.
And if I hadn't started getting better when I did, uh, things wouldn't have uh, been finished and they wouldn't have progressed. Uh, and certainly not in time for me to have been able to uh, actually complete things. And yeah, and then I've been able to finish it just in time before all of those resources sort of go away. I didn't know about all this stuff. Uh, um, some of it I did, some of it I didn't previously. So just the way that things have worked out has actually been quite uh, serendipitous. So that's what's going to be happening um, in the future. I've had, a, I've had two months of living in the van. I'm now going to have a one month of vacation. And then when I come back, I will be um, moving to another city and uh, with, with my home, which has finally um, been completed. 90% almost there. Just that one little area needs doing, but that's probably going to be a while. And when it does, it should be pretty simple. So yeah, thank you for listening to this update. I just wanted to make a, like a video just sort of saying, this is what's happening. There will, there will be less uploads uh, coming obviously in the month of August. There might not be any other than this video. Depends on what I'm actually able to do because I won't have uh, the van, so I can't make any van related videos. I'll be on vacation, but I don't think there'll be anything that I'm really doing on vacation that would be worth uh, filming and, and putting on, on the channel or anything like that. Um, I'm if there may be like an article video like I did um, previously, we'll see. It depends if I'm able to sort of produce something like that while I'm on vacation. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one whenever that is. One final thing, I really cracked the screen on my Nikon camera, which I use to make most of my videos. Um, so I might not be using it as much. It's pretty hard to set up shots and actually use it correctly. I dropped it while I was actually filming my tour video. And so it's, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll be able to get the screen repaired, but just something I thought you guys should know.